Have any of you ever been affected by religious rules or regulations that seem to prohibit you or get in the way from you experiencing God? Or maybe, have religious rules or regulations ever been a means that have hurt you or have kept you from the things of God? Two personal stories for you today as we begin. The first one deals with my parents. My mother was an immigrant Italian who moved to the United States, but my parents met during World War II. My mother was a nurse, and my father was in the Air Force. And they met at a USO dance, and they decided to marry. Now, my mom was a Catholic, but my dad was not. My dad was a hillbilly from West Virginia, really didn't know much about faith. But my parents decided to marry. And in their marriage, what ended up happening was my mother was excommunicated from the church. Now, maybe you don't know or understand much, but to an immigrant Italian family, that's huge. And that was a poor point of shame and disgrace. And my parents had to go through a whole host of things before they could ever get back into the good graces of the church and be restored in that end. Now, I, this was well before I ever came along, but when I realized that, I realized how many times have people been affected by and turned away from the church when it should be a place where they should find safety and refuge. Now, the other one is also a personal relative of mine, someone close to me, that when going through a divorce, they were a deacon within their church. And when the determination that they was going to be divorced, they were taken aside and told that they would no longer be allowed to serve within the church community because they would be divorced. And here's my question for all of us. Has ever our attempt to be true to the text actually hurt the people that the text was supposed to help? You see, what amazes me is this. When we study the Gospel of John, John makes this bold declaration that when we see Jesus, we see God in a bod. We see God manifested in human form. And so the Bible tells us, John said, that no one has ever seen God. But the one and only Son who is close to the Father has come to make him known. What amazed me is this. The people who had the most difficulty dealing with Jesus while he was on the earth, amazingly, were religious leaders. You ever ask the question, what makes God mad? Human beings have a lot of answers to that question. But I'm talking about what does actually Scripture say? When you look at Jesus you discover that to know God is to see Jesus. And I love this aspect of it. When you actually look at it, it may not be anything you ever thought before. Mark's gospel tells us this, that when Jesus had come into the synagogue one day, there was a man there who had a withered hand. But the day in which Jesus was speaking happened to be a Sabbath day. And there were religious leaders watching whether or not he would heal on the Sabbath day. And Mark's account says this, that Jesus looked upon them with anger. What made Jesus angry? And here's the point that you need to recognize. Whenever religious rules, whenever religious leaders get in the way of the mercy and grace helping the people to whom it was given for, that makes God angry. In fact, when Jesus, probably the most... The time that he went the most uh, 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 nitro on this end, when he came to Jerusalem. And he went into the temple. And he overturned the money changers and casted all the people. He gave us the reason why he was upset. He said, my father's house is a place of prayer for all nations. But you've turned it into a place as a den of thieves. In other words, the people who were coming there earnestly to seek God, their sacrifices were being determined. No, 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 that's not acceptable. The money changed. It became a profiting situation. In essence, God's house should never be a place that people are prohibited from receiving the mercy and the grace that God came to provide for us.